US Open, for Rory McIlroy there's nothing more to say. Pinehurst NC Where does Rory McIlroy go from here? Where do you even start to pick up the pieces of a shattered dream? Does he comfort himself with the fact that yet again he was in the mix for a major right until the final holes? Does he consider that he's lost three majors in the past two years the 2022 Open Championship the 2023 US Open and this by a total of four strokes? Does he collapse? Implode. Plot his way through the rest of his career wondering how six feet worth of putts on Sunday night could have changed his life. Sunday night at the US Open at Pinehurst McElroy saw his best chance to win a major in the past decade a decade let's not forget already full of near misses roll toward the cup peer over the edge and lip right on out. Twice. Behind him Bryson DeChambeau stalked waiting for the opportunity to strike. By the back nine DeChambeau had given away the three shot lead he'd started the day with but he stayed focused on McElroy and on his own game. And when McElroy's third shot on number 18 nestled up inside four feet of the pin DeChambeau had a moment of doubt. Man if he makes PAR I don't know how I'm going to beat him DeChambeau thought. Then I heard the moans DeChambeau said afterward. Like a shot of adrenaline got in me. I said okay you can do this. A bogey on 18 puts McElroy one stroke behind DeChambeau. Bryson has one hole to play. The moans. I've covered thousands of sporting events over the years and I've never heard a sound from a gallery a crowd a gathering quite like that. It was a primal wail of agony of frustration of rage of disbelief. The thousands gathered around the 18th green went through all the stages of grief in a heartbeat from denial all the way to sad bitter acceptance. Only the true meatheads in the crowd and there were a few like the one who shouted it looks bad, to McElroy after his tee shot on 18 would have wanted DeChambeau to win like that. For him to miss that putt DeChambeau said I'd never wish it on anybody. It just happened to play out that way. Every championship ends in heartbreak for someone. At this point every golf major ends in heartbreak for McElroy. Every time the sun sets on another major Sunday and McElroy leaves the 18th green without a trophy, every time he has to walk into another major week and face the questions of is it going to happen this week Rory, every time an engraver taps out yet another player's name, well how much more can one guy take? This is the point where we insert the usual disclaimer that yes millionaire golfer can't win certain tournaments is a 1% of 1%er problem. If that's all that you bring to the table when considering McElroy's decade-long and counting slow-moving catastrophe your point is noted. Thanks for stopping by. Players of McElroy's caliber don't play golf to get rich, they get rich because they're very good at golf. There are plenty of players who have earned eight figures worth of wealth on the golf course and never gotten close to a major trophy. Some of them were even on the leaderboard Sunday. The record will show that McElroy missed putts on NOS 16 and 18 that totaled 6 feet 3 inches misses that let DeChambo catch then pass him for the US Open trophy. But the numbers aren't the real story here. The tragedy and again this is a sports tragedy not a true tragedy is that McElroy knows he fumbled this one. Knows that he had one hand on that trophy. Knows that if he had these putts another thousand times he'd probably make all thousand of them. Rory McIlroy was 496 for 496 putting inside 3 feet the season before that miss. Justin Ray, Justin Ray Golf, June 16, 2024. The reason why McIlroy has been such a fan, and media, favorite for so many years is that he's always seemed so relatably human. He's a sports fan he likes TV shows like Succession he can even belt out a reasonably decent bar band version of Don't Stop Believin'. In a sports world increasingly dominated by brand-friendly automatons spouting predictable cliches McElroy's willingness to take on tough subjects like the ongoing divide in golf is rare and admirable. He didn't speak to the media Sunday night climbing into his courtesy Lexus and spinning the tires on the way out of Pinehurst and I absolutely cannot blame him for that. What's he going to say that we don't already know? Why does he need to rip his heart open for our inspection when we saw everything we needed to see right there on the 18th green and in the scorer's room inside the clubhouse? The man deserves to grieve this loss in peace. Rory McElroy leaving the clubhouse. He got into his car and drove off. 
J. Busby, J. Busby, June 16, 2024. Where does he go from here? What does he do? How does he come back from such a devastating defeat in a decade of them? I have no idea. Neither do you. Neither probably does McElroy himself. After this week there are no more easy putts and no more easy answers.